I think ESPN has lost their freaking minds, man. <laughs> it's another edition of Southwest Bias. Get that stuff out of here. It's Southwest Bias. As always, brought to you by our friends over at Desert Financial Credit Union, Arizona's number one credit union, named by a Forbes, a smaller version of Southwest Bias today. It's just myself, Eric Ruby, and the lovely, the wonderful Anthony Toe tree. Is that a short show? You said smaller. Is it because I'm on here? No, because there's yeah, less yeah, people, yeah. okay? But if you want to get Likely into self-deprecation, we can do that <laughs> as well. But who should be self-deprecating? Uh, that should be ESPN <laughs> ranks. Because, listen, man, they put out top 100 professional athletes of the 21st century. So since 2000, there were some interesting placements. And we'll get kind of an overarching view of the list in a second. But there is one local name that I am absolutely Lord did not make it top 100 athletes since 2000 a massive 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 omission in Larry Fitzgerald didn't make top 100 didn't make the top 100 at all it's kind of pathetic I mean Larry Fitzgerald was for I mean pretty much the entirety of his career a top 10 wide receiver and you can look at his prime was a top three to five wide receiver every single season in the NFL that he played for him to not be even in the like bottom half of this list mm -hmm. is kind of crazy. Was there an honorable mention list at all? Um, no, I don't see an honorable mention. I will tell you the methodology. Uh, so experts in individual sports were asked to vote to rank the top athletes in their sports since January 1st, 2000. No accomplishment before the state was considered. Those votes pared down, par pared down. I don't know what I mean. Pools in each sport to list of 10 to 25 athletes each, which constituted the overall candidate pool for top athletes of the 21st century so far. Each voter was presented two randomly selected names and asked to pitch, pick which one had the better career in the 21st century. <sighs> Fifth belongs in top 100. There were 70,000 votes were cast at this stage, and they used a rating system. The list was par pared down from 262 to 100, and the list was evaluated by a panel of experts for any inconsistencies or oversights. So it wasn't I mean, just like one random dude in his basement put this together, right? It sounds like it. I mean, it, it, it seems like it, but it almost makes it worse, the fact no, that Larry Fitzgerald it looks like this. kind of crazy. Okay, I, I will read off. There are two other wide receivers on this on list. The list. On the list. First one comes in at number 57. Okay. It's Calvin Johnson. And then belong 27 there. is Randy Moss. Yeah, they both Without a doubt, there. they both belong in the top 100. Absolutely. Both better wide receivers than Larry Fitzgerald. Better at, at their peak for sure. But with Calvin Johnson specifically, if we're talking about career accomplishments. Yeah, longevity. And longevity and records and everything like that. Larry Fitzgerald clears him. And there are reasons for that, obviously. And who? how would... Calvin Johnson's career be different if he wasn't on the Detroit Lions. That is a Dude, massive part longer. of it as well, if he played longer. But it's not like Larry Fitzgerald had some bevy of fantastic quarterbacks to throw him the ball. And when he did, their teams were extremely successful. You yeah. didn't have a, a perennial playoff contender in the Arizona Cardinals. And yet he still puts up, I think, second most receiving yards all time in the playoffs by a wide receiver. Yeah. I, I mean, Larry Fitzgerald, like we said, was a top three to five wide receiver for the majority of his NFL career. And I think you go Randy Moss, Calvin Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald. Those are your top three wide receivers of the 2000s. Yeah. And I think that's pretty clear cut and dry. I don't know if you can really make an argument that there's somebody not in that trio um, that belongs there. I understand Randy Moss. There is a lot of people that consider Randy Moss the second greatest wide receiver of all time behind yeah. Jerry Rice. I understand Calvin Johnson being on this list. Calvin Johnson is a, a specimen of a wide receiver and was in, I mean, if he was still playing, would, would probably be the most gifted wide receiver um, to ever play yeah. in the NFL with his, his athleticism and size. But Larry was captain consistent every single year. You could count on that, that dude to not drop passes, to have thousand yard seasons and to be wide receiver one for a franchise that, you know, was kind of middle of the pack yeah. for a good chunk of time. Um, so, yeah, it does blow my mind that he's not even, like, in the 90s. Well, well, right, and that's the thing is if you want to argue if he should be above Calvin Johnson, I don't I, I don't think uh, that. So, so, here's, so here's the thing. I think if you're just talking about I need to play one game and I absolutely need to have the best wide receivers out there and you need to pick two from the 2000s, you're going to pick Calvin Johnson and you're going to pick Randy Moss. Yeah. But if you're talking about who has had the best career, which is a part of this conversation. Right, because yeah. if you're talking like peak for peak for different sports and everything, that's a completely different conversation than resume, than longevity, than entire careers. Yeah, right. 
Bill Walton has one of the best peaks of all time in the NBA, but his longevity isn't there. It just doesn't matter as much. There is and should be a lot of weight for the fact that Larry Fitzgerald played for as long as he did. Yeah. Played as well as he did. And also, I, I mean, this shouldn't put him on the list, but doing it for one team and, and having a cultural impact as well. I, I don't think you can debate at their peak who's the better wide receiver between those three. But I absolutely don't think that there have been 100 athletes that have walked this planet since the year 2000 that have just clearly been better than Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah, I mean, again, he was, I mean, even up until his last season when he retired, was still a top five wide receiver in the NFL because of what he was doing at such a consistent clip. Like we said earlier, right? Like I think Randy Moss had a better career overall than Larry Fitzgerald, so I understand that. Calvin Johnson, I think, overall, individually, is a better wide receiver for a, a game, right? Yeah. Um, but if you're talking about doing it consistently every single season, when he didn't play with a Tom Brady, um, when he didn't consistently play with a Matthew Stafford, even. Yeah. Then Larry was Larry was your guy, right? Like, I, I get that. Yeah. Um, and I know I'm a little biased, but Larry's not the only great talent left off that left off oh, that list. No. Ladanian Tomlinson, Tomlinson wasn't yeah. on that list either. I think um, there, there was a lot of big omissions, and you know, it's not just it's not just football. Right? No, I get that, but still, like I think for for both those guys, and we go back to Larry, right? Like, can you name 25 players in the NFL that were better? No, no. So, and here's how it kind of breaks down for the top 100 professional athletes in the 21st century. Basketball has 24 of the top 100. That's the number one. Baseball has 17. Soccer has 15. Football has Soccer 12. Has 15. So, football has 12. Tennis has six. Golf has four. Boxing has four. Track and field has three. Auto racing, hockey, all three as well. Um, Soccer has 15. Yes. 15. Yes. To be fair, to be fair. There have been a, some absolutely incredible yeah, talents. Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo. But like, if we're Neymar, even going, if we're going outside of like 15, outside of football, fifteen as well, is crazy. Yeah. Fifteen is crazy. I mean, look at like number one hundred is Charles Woodson. Number ninety nine is Ed Reed. I think at ninety nine is too low for Ed Reed or high. I don't know how to say it. When you're talking about top one hundred lists, if you it's say weird. too it's, low, it's, it's, do you think that like if I say Ed Reed's too low at ninety nine? Do you think, yeah, think that, that means makes, that he... No, I get that. I understand that. Like, but then it's like, but he's higher. Sorry. That's, no, he that's, should be higher on the digression. list. Yeah. Right? He should be a dude that is, you know, top 75. Yeah. Right? Um, and they have they have some... Well, I didn't know there was 15 soccer players. Yeah, and they, they have that, some that athletes... That really bugs me. They have some athletes that did a lot before 2000 and then also had good careers post 2000 and like just start naming just start ripping here you just want you okay you want, just, me, just you want me to start at 100 ripping. and just start ripping? i don't need you to go all the way down just like give me some some athletes and where they're at and and we can go from there uh charles woodson ed i don't reed. i'll be honest i don't think charles woodson belongs top 100 but that's just me ed reed i think he does connor mcdavid yes darrell revis Yes. Zlatan Where's Ibrahimovic. Revis? Where's Revis? Revis? I'm I'm reading these in order. He's 96. He should be higher. Okay. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Yeah, I understand Zlatan. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Yeah. Okay. Roy McIlroy. Okay. Pedro Martinez. Okay. Aaron Rodgers at 91. I don't know if Aaron Rodgers deserves to be on the list. Whoa, what? I don't know if he deserves That's to be on the list. That's a bad take. I don't think it is. That's a bad take. What has he done? Um, four-time NFL MVP, 10-time Pro Bowler, four-time first-team All-Pro, Hall of Famer, All-2010s team, Super Bowl yeah. M MVP, 475 passing touchdowns, has the best touchdown-interception ratio of uh, of the 2000s. No, he's actually the NFL's career leader in touchdown-interception ratio. Uh -huh. um, Aaron Rodgers deserves to be better than 91. I don't know. I don't JJ, know. So here's the thing. I JJ don't know Watt, JJ Watt is, I think he's in the he's in the 80s somewhere. Also, I'm not crazy. He was only he was almost nine. If there was nine better players, he was almost not on the list. No, but I think <laughs> I would argue that he should be he should be higher than that. Like I he think should be higher I, than Chris Paul's at 83. Larry Fitzgerald Chris Paul's had a crazy career. Yeah, I agree. I think but Larry Aaron Rodgers has won four MVPs. Larry Fitzgerald deserves to be on that list over Aaron, and Ladainian Thomason Ooh. deserves to be on that list no. over Aaron. No. Yes, absolutely. What? Yes, because you were talking. Let's let's Bro. no no let's have this conversation. I don't even real quick. like Aaron Rodgers. Let's have this conversation that's real quick. Larry Fitzgerald is one of the top five wide receivers in NFL history. I agree. Yeah. Ladainian Tomlinson is one of the top five running backs in NFL history. Yeah. Is Aaron Rodgers a top five quarterback in NFL history? No, but I think. Okay. But blank, if you're talking. Blank, take but the if we're talking to the bank. Four MVPs. Four 
of the 24 MVPs since the year 2000 have been won by Aaron Rodgers, playing in the same era as Tom Brady, widely considered yeah, as the He's GOAT. a really good quarterback. He's one of the top 100 best athletes of this generation, of the 2000s, for sure. I'm taking Larry and for I'm taking LT. absolutely sure. I Listen, I, I think that's insane. All, all this stuff, a couple more names. Ray Lewis first. on that list? Uh, yes, I, okay. I do believe Ray Lewis is on this list. Uh, I'll, I'm going to read off a couple more names before okay. we wrap this up here, but I will remind everybody that this episode is brought to you by Desert Financial Credit Union. Not only Arizona's number one credit union, named by Forbes, but my personal friends over at Desert Financial Credit Union. Yeah. I've been saying this on the ASU show that me and you are on five days a week at 1.30 right here on PHNX Sports. Hit that subscribe button, almost at 30K. But it's been in my family for generations. My grandmother is one of the first ever users of Ben Desert Schools. She was an educator, which then turned into Desert Financial, what it is today. It went from my grandmother to my parents to me. It has been in our family for generations. And they're not just going to help you with your basics, checking the savings accounts. I got mortgages, loans, credit cards, investment options, and more. And they want to give you money right now. If you open up a free checking account online, uh, get 200 bucks free. I mean, yeah, I'll take free money. $200 for free right into your checking account. All you got to do is desertfinancial.com slash 200 to check that out. Listen, Aaron Rodgers That's not really deserves to be higher that. than J.J. Watt. I mean, I don't think so. J.J. Watt. Really? Yeah, I think J.J. J.J. Watt's at 58. J.J. Watt, for however long he played in the NFL, was the best defensive player every single season. I think you can argue that Aaron Rodgers was the best or one of the two best you with, can the, argue with the best quarterback of all time for almost an entire decade. He won four MVPs. Aaron Rodgers, in his career, was never the number one quarterback in the league. Not a single time. But he's playing alongside the GOAT. I don't think that takes that's away not from up him. To, I mean, that, that's fine. But he also won the MVP four times. That's cool. He was Over the GOAT. He's not, he wasn't Tom Brady. He wasn't Peyton Manning. He wasn't Drew Brees. I'll take Drew Brees over Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's a terrible take. Absolutely. That's a terrible absolutely. take. Absolutely. That is a terrible absolutely. take. That is an awful absolutely. take. Absolutely. You have the office laughing absolutely. at you. Absolutely. That is an... There's five people bro, here right you, now, you, And all Damon. five should be laughing no. at you because nope. that is an asinine nope. take. Nope. Just I'm by taking saying Drew no, Brees over. okay, you can't just say no and take that as your point. And you're lucky that we're running out of time here. But Drew Brees over Aaron Rodgers. Yep. Aaron Rodgers won f I'm like four MVPs, NFL leader in touchdown to passing ratio. I think he's 10 times all many, pro. How many championships does he have? One. How many championships does Drew Brees have? Two. One. one? Yeah, he yeah, one. That's not an argument. <laughs> That's not an argument. You can't say you're telling me so he's tripping. dramatically better than you're him. You're so tripping. You can't say you're telling me he's dramatically better than him. I would say Drew Brees does not deserve to sniff the top 100. I think Aaron Rodgers does should be top to 75. Sniff the top 100. Top, top 75 for Aaron Rodgers. That's crazy. That's crazy. If, if, if Look Drew up career Brees, passing numbers. If Drew, if career Drew passing Brees, numbers, Drew Brees, I'm pretty sure, is more than Aaron Rodgers. He's got more passing yards. He's got more touchdowns. Bro. You are, this might be your worst take of all time. And it's I hear not. some really it's, it's shitty not. takes. It really here. isn't. At no point in his career, even modern okay. day, Hold has Aaron Rodgers been this the number the last, one quarterback is, in the NFL. Okay. And Drew Brees has? You could argue it. No, you're so, <laughs> that's so stupid. You're digging your heels in on a terrible take. All right. Go ahead. Show me Drew the comparison. Brees. Drew Brees. Yep. 13 time Pro Bowl. Yep. Pro Bowl. One time All Pro, one time Super Bowl champion, one time Super Bowl MVP, comeback okay. player of the year, two time offensive player of the year. Yeah. Everything else is stupid. I don't care about accolades. Well, okay. You don't care about accolades because that's good. I because want, what are the numbers? That would, that would really help your argument of the other guy having four MVPs. Well, just um, show me. Just, what are the numbers? I want to know the numbers. Okay. He has 80,000 total yards, okay. 170, 214 record, 67.7 completion percentage, 7.6 yards per attempt, 571 touchdowns, and 243 interceptions. Okay. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Doesn't have 80,000 yards. No. He has 60,000 yards, 7.7 .7 yards. So 20,000 more. He'd need to play four more seasons he has at a four, ridiculous clip to he get has there. 475 touchdowns, 105 interceptions. 475 touchdowns? To 105 interceptions. And how many Drew touchdowns Brees had did Brees 571. Have? He's also retired. Yeah. Rogers Aaron Rodgers isn't still playing 10 any times of those Pro Bowl. Numbers. Four Rogers time isn't all. hitting any of those numbers. 10 times Ever. Pro Bowl. He's not. Four times Rogers All Pro. Is 40. One time Super Rogers Bowl champ. Is 40. Four time he's MVP. 40. Four time player. 20,000 yards MVP. shy. A Super 20, Bowl MVP. Yards shy. Hall of Fame. Hall and almost 100 TDs behind. He's not going to get there. So the idea that Drew Brees isn't as good as Aaron Rodgers is not crazy. Congratulations. Aaron Rodgers, the ball looks prettier when it comes out of his arm. Congratulations. He's a more 
quote unquote picture. If I had to win a game, if but I had at to the win end a of game. the day, you look at the numbers. Aaron Rodgers isn't hey. fucking coming close to Drew Brees. Hey, he's not. It's not. It's okay, not, so you're telling not, me. So you're telling me Larry Fitzgerald's a better wide receiver than Calvin Johnson? It, no, I'm not because saying. Because now I'm using logic against no, you, buddy. No, I'm not saying it's all numbers. I'm not saying it's all numbers. But no, I'm that's pointing your whole out argument. specifically. That's your whole argument. Specifically, your also, whole argument also, right now is no. numbers. Also, Calvin Johnson hung it up way before Larry, right? Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers, in terms of time playing in the NFL, Aaron Rodgers is 40 fucking years old. Okay? He's Buddy. played a long career. And it ain't over yet. Listen, I don't even like Aaron Rodgers that much, okay? I just think that there was this some just crazy— This turned into an Aaron Rodgers-Drew Brees really debate. Did. Listen, are we crazy? <laughs> do you agree with me? Do you agree with Totri about Aaron Rodgers? Is Larry Fitzgerald, should he be on the list? Should he not be on the list at all? We care about your opinion as well here on Southwest Bias. Make sure you comment down below what you think. Make sure you also like this video. Make sure you also subscribe to PHNX Show some Sports. respect for Drew Brees. Show some respect for me because this is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. You can follow myself at Eric Ruby. That's Eric with a K on Twitter. You can follow at Anthony underscore Totri. You can find us in the PHNX Sun Devil Show. Monday through Friday at 1.30. Lawrence Guy going to be joining yeah. the show next week. We'll see what he thinks. Yeah, well, we're going to ask He him, played with Tom Brady. And that's a tease right there. But until next week, this has been another edition of Southwest Bias. Get that stuff out of here. It's Southwest Bias.